Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jess and today I want to talk to you guys about basically this crazy download that I had. Without further ado, let's get into it. So you know what I learned? I learned that life is literally like a video game and it's in so many aspects. The first aspect that I realized that it's like a video game is in your fate or your destiny or wherever you're supposed to end up in life. You're always going to end up there. There's no way that we can change that and it's just like a video game. At the video game, there's one end goal. It's like, you know, the, the end of the game. But then you have all these little missions that you go on and you're trying to get to the end of the game, but you sometimes you die you, and you come back and you have to try another way. Or sometimes you really just have to get through these missions in order to finally get to the end. And that is really what life is about. The thing is, is that these missions aren't always something so grand, you know? Like it's not like this big 3D thing. It can be something so small that unlocks the next thing. So do you ever try to like sit down and do something and then all of a sudden you just start getting all of these distractions out of nowhere like people are blowing up your phone, maybe somebody just keeps coming into your room and interrupting you or there's just loud noise everywhere, your baby's crying, your dog has to go out and take a shit or something, you know, like there's just something that keeps getting in the way of whatever you are trying to do. So what you have to do is figure out whatever little mission or really blockage it is that you have to clear in order for you to be able to enjoy what you're trying to do for instance this kind of happens to me sometimes when i'm trying to like meditate or really just trying to do something on my own um i'll get start getting all of these distractions and at first i would get very frustrated i'm just like oh my gosh are you kidding me you know like the dog has to shit every five seconds and i'm like what the fuck is going on um, so really, instead of getting frustrated, you kind of have to zone in a little bit and see, okay, what is it that I, what is it that I need to clear in order for me to have this alone time by myself? And the thing is, is that we don't think about things like that. We just get frustrated that the dog has to shit, right? Um, not even realizing that the, the thing that is going to unlock the mission that we want to complete is us simply stepping outside with the dog. You know, maybe you were just like, for instance, sometimes I'll just let my dog out. But really, sometimes spirit wants me to go out and literally go ground myself on the ground, you know, step onto the grass. And you know what happens when, you know how I know that that shit needs to happen um my dog will either have to go out a bunch of times or he will start doing something that i have to go out and be like hey you know stop doing that you know um to us it may seem like oh this is so annoying and frustrating like why are they being bad but it's like okay they were being bad right but you have to go out and walk on the grass so you have to ground yourself a little bit and you know like spirit will literally push you to do things sometimes you know sometimes we just don't get the fucking hint so spirit's like all right, here you go. Here you go, because you didn't ground yourself, so now you're going to have to go out walk into the grass, and you might get a little frustrated with your dog, but at least you went out and grounded a little bit, you know? And what happens is usually when I go step out there, I'm like, <sighs> but then I'm like, okay, feels great. <laughs> and then I'm able to come back inside and I'm able to meditate or whatever it is that I wanted to do at peace, you know, but it was not going to happen until I went outside and grounded myself. And sometimes we just don't realize like what the little things that we need to do is in order to unlock the mission sometimes it's like did you even eat some fucking food today you know like did you even eat today how about you do that before you start trying to do anything else um so that's one of the crazy things that i learned too is that um you know life is like a video game you have all these missions but also that you know like we shouldn't get so frustrated with the distractions or um, when people interrupt us or things like that because those interruptions are literally from spirit 
Like sometimes I'll be trying to make a video talking about something and I know I shouldn't be talking about it because I keep getting distracted. Or like earlier, I was trying to film an earlier part of this video and it was just not, it was, I just couldn't get my words out. And what happened while I'm talking, Snapchat starts going off and I'm like, oh shit, I gotta, you know, mute my phone, you know, but it's just things like that, you know, and then that let me know, okay, you know, let me start over. I took a breath. I literally, I lit some some mugwort and I just I cleanse my space I grab my crystals and I was like all right you know maybe that's what I need that's what's gonna unlock my throat chakra because that's what I need to use to speak right now you know and that was a little mission that I had to do and now I'm able to actually put this video all out but those little distractions and things like that those little noises the interruptions those are all messages from spirit and you have to kind of like tune in and realize okay what is it trying to tell me it's not something that needs to necessarily piss you off let the shit that annoys you be a tool for you okay let it be a tool to guide you in life and i promise you you won't be annoyed you won't be irritated i mean you probably will i'm not gonna lie you will but you're gonna work a lot better with those emotions you know you're gonna feel it for a little bit and then you get over it because you're like okay so what is the lesson what do i need to learn here you know um so that was a really crazy download that i had <laughs> also so these things the little missions that you do they're different every time and um really it can be something as simple as cleaning your environment cleaning up your space um throwing out some old things like really going through your stuff and getting rid of the old things because everything has energy if you feel some real th grab a piece of clothing that um you may have had from like a while back like literally something that you that you can't get rid of you know it's very sentimental to you and if it, if you've went through trauma with it really grab that shit okay and if you're if you're holding on to it you really shouldn't but if you have it and you know you went through some trauma with it grab it I want you to grab it and I want you to hold it in your hands and literally here I want you to hold it in your hands and I want you to literally feel the energy of it just take a deep breath and you'll start feeling soon you'll start getting like a little tingling feeling maybe or just your hands may start feeling heavy um, certain body parts may start feeling heavy like your body may just start feeling like it's just like this like like sinking like that that's how you that's kind of how you feel the energy and, and that's how you feel if something is heavy if the if the energy is very heavy and you're just like wow that's that's a lot or like it really pulls on a certain part of your um body that's how you can tell so this doesn't really hold too much energy but it, i feel like it kind of actually it holds a little bit of energy because um this was this I use this a lot to cover my camera. My camera has, <laughs> my camera has seen some things. So, um, yeah, but then you grab something else and you grab like maybe like a crystal or something like that. Something that you know has some good energy with it and you feel the difference with it. Like you can literally feel the difference in how you feel when you're holding it. Like your body doesn't, it doesn't feel that, that heavy pull. It, sh it should feel like more uplifting, you know? Um, so that's why you want to get rid of certain things but what i'm trying to tell you is that think about the game the sims if you've ever played the game the sims and if you haven't it's basically a real life simulation game and um you don't really have any missions in this game what happens is if they're in their house and their house starts getting messy their mood goes down use that in real life because you think about it if our environment is messy we are not in a good mood so sometimes really what you have to do to clear that blockage is clean you know and we don't think about it we just think that like oh everything sucks and we just want to be miserable but it's like why why do you want to be miserable don't you want to figure it out don't you want to make it into a game and like turn that round upside down but really like make it a mission sometimes the mission that you have to do is clean but it's not going to be the same thing every time and that's the fun of it you know you don't want things to be routine because that's boring and the universe is unlike routine it likes spontaneity so every time that you have to um figure out okay like what is it that i have to do 
you really just have to use your intuition and i use my pendulum to confirm but if you have another form of divination that you use to like confirm your mm -hmm. messages then use that but you have to use your intuition really that is the biggest thing is use your intuition and look for the signs around you and i feel like once you realize that life is literally like a game then you can make it whatever game you want it to be and i don't know about you you, but I'm not trying to be a fucking chess game because chess is fucking boring to me. I don't want to be solitude because that's fucking boring to me too. I'd rather be a game like Clue where I'm trying to figure out exactly what the fuck is going on. That's the game that I want to be. That's interesting to me and that's how I want my life to be. And you can make your life however you want it. If you think that chess is fun, then you go ahead and be chess. But be the fucking game, okay? Don't let the game play you. You be that shit, okay? <laughs> you know that this is something that you create. So make the best of it. Make the best of it. Don't let those little distractions, those interruptions, those little things that just irk you, don't let that get to you because that is spirit. And another thing that I learned is that, you know, when we have people that try to tell us differently about how we feel or, you know, we think that they're a hater, they're hating on our ideas, they're trying to tell us not to do something, that's really a message from a spirit. And it's not necessarily what they're saying that, you know, we shouldn't follow through with it, but it's just a message from spirit that maybe there's something that we're not thinking through all the way okay because i had wanted before to make like um some little like shroom smoothie bars and my man was like what like you know like that's weird and i was just like oh he's being a hater and little did i realize when i made the shroom smoothie bar it tasted disgusting because basically like the fruit amplified the taste of the shrooms so and then later i got a message that said you know like not everyone that that you know says something against what you're saying is a hater it's really not it's a message from spirit and sometimes it's just because you didn't think things through and i did not think that through i didn't even you know test it out i just thought that i would do it and um and yeah so it's really important to to pay attention and, and like i said if you realize that life is really like that and that everyone is really just a messenger or a teacher and this is a game that you play and everything is a mission you gotta level up you can get fucking through anything you can literally get through anything with that mindset with that mentality anything okay <laughs> okay so i think i'm gonna wrap it up here i think that's everything that i wanted to say all right so i hope you guys have the most amazing day and i'm gonna get out of here i will see you guys next time make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already bye